Greetings, Vault Citizens. Johnny5 Alive here. We have some very exciting Fallout 76 news to cover here today. We have official news on what the PvP mode is going to be. We have the devs coming out and speaking openly about the future content and patch for this month, as well as they're wanting your feedback on in game events so they can make them better. They also wanted to address a message on exploits and cheaters in Fallout 76. So lots of stuff to go over today, guys. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, guys, as always, I will have a link to Inside the Vault for January 17th to 2019 down in the description below if you want to read it for yourself. But we're going to go through this step by step. So let's get on into it, shall we? So far this week, we've closed out 150 bugs and we've gotten more fixes on the way. Thank you so much for your vigilant reporting of issues, providing feedback and giving us your suggestions. We want to have a conversation with you, whether it, that's about patches, new content, or things you want to know about. We're working on sharing as many details with you as possible, and we're excited to share new details and clues on updates and additions to the game in the coming weeks. We're also going to iterate on Inside the Vault as well, timing the information it includes, diving deep into some specific fixes and why it's taking us a little longer to fix others. These weekly updates will be your one-stop shop for Fallout 76 info. So that is good. They're planning on doing this weekly, guys. So be sure to check back into the channel because I'll be covering it every week. Keep talking to us. We can't answer everything, but please keep giving us your thoughts and we'll keep sharing with you. Just because we're not posting in other places as often doesn't mean we're not seeing what you're taking the time to write and seeing how we can act on it to make Fallout 76 even better. A message on exploits. We want Fallout 76 to be a happy and healthy world for players, and we know that there are concerns with players finding and abusing exploits. We're working hard to find, fix, and address these as they show up. The number of players raising these to our attention has been incredibly helpful in our process of getting to the bottom of these exploits, and we will greatly appreciate it. We want you to know that we are taking these exploits and those abusing them very seriously. Now, I do want to mention on that, there has been some news out there that they have been banning YouTubers from the game that cover exploits and glitches on their channels. They're going at that far, and that's actually a smart decision, in my opinion, because these YouTubers are influencers, and they are influencing lots of younger people to cheat. So I've never been a fan of exploits and cheating in games. I did use one, which allowed me to change store items and then get them back as different items. Um, but it was, I basically just used it to get a different light bulb for my house. <laughs> it's like that simple. But yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of cheating. I don't promote cheating. I like to play the games properly. And in a game like Fallout 4, you could cheat to your heart's content, but the only person you're ruining the game for is yourself. In Fallout 76, there are a ton of exploits. I don't ever think I've ever seen an online service game with this many exploits at launch. It is absolutely ridiculous. There are channels out there, YouTube channels, who have made in their entire collection of videos just glitches and, and bug fixes just off this one game alone. It is a surplus of never-ending cheats, and as a content creator, I like to entertain in form, but I do not condone cheating on this channel. And it is amazing to me how many of you guys out there love cheating. I would be getting a lot of views <laughs> if I actually made cheat videos. But that's not the case here, and Bethesda's cracking down on it, hopefully going to make the game cheat free and better for everyone, which is good. Once identified, we work closely with our support team to remove problem players that are abusing these exploits, whether they are duping exploits or those using cheat apps or mods to access areas in game that are otherwise inaccessible and unintended for players in the game world. As we continue to change the game, we fully expect to identify new issues, but we'll continue to track and resolve exploits. <laughs> if you think you're experiencing an exploit, stop 
stop using it immediately and let our support team know in a ticket. If you feel you have experienced an issue regarding another player, including observing them using an exploit, we encourage you to let our support team know by submitting a ticket here. <laughs> so a few things to touch on here. Uh, there are people getting into areas that are unintended, such as the vaults. Uh, there's been videos of people getting into the vaults early, which is the new content. And as of recently, someone got into one of the developer rooms and these developer rooms are used to test things. And essentially the developer rooms have every single item in the game. So people were getting into there and getting all the items in the game. And then Bethesda goes ahead and bans them. Now, how do I feel about this? When the developers have not really put systems in place for people to cheat and exploit and, you know, get into these secret unintended areas, is that the player's fault or is that the developer's fault? I tend to lean on the fact that it's the developer's fault and they should not be banning people, but I get it. I, I like the fact that they're cracking down on it, it's, it, even with the YouTubers, because, you know, they don't want people to promote cheating. So I'm on both sides of the fence here. However, this game was not launched in the best of states and it hasn't gotten the best rap. Just to go banning people for cheating and exploiting in a game that they developed, which is highly exploitable, it's a little bit on them, in, in my opinion. We're, we are gamers at the end of the day, and if we can find neat nifty things in a game that no one else can do then they're gonna try and do it for me i like finding bugs and interesting things if i would have found a way to get into those vaults i probably would have done it because i don't look at that as exploits i look at that as a new area to explore and if i found a way to stumble upon it that would be kind of cool and it's not easy to do it's a bit of an achievement i used to do those kinds of cheats in games like can we get on top of the world can we get up to this area that's not intended to be i like that stuff i like exploring like level design and seeing how far we can get. Next up, latest on patch five, early feedback from all you on the latest patch has been very positive. It continues to help us squash bugs with super sledge-like authority in future updates. Keep the awesome feedback coming. It's making a big difference. We're still targeting the end of the month for patch five, which will have another big wave of fixes. As a change moving forward, we'll be working to make sure that inside the vault is the first place you see patch notes released patch five notes won't be finalized until later in the month but we want to give some information on on a couple plan changes for patch five. First change changes to the shot two shot legendary mod two shot legendary mods will be undergoing a few balance changes in this patch we know that there has been some frustrations over how powerful this mod is especially when it comes to being the victim of it with patch five the damage bonus for two shot legendary modded weapons has been reduced to 25 percent and the two shot legendary mod can no longer be looted in the world. Well, that's a little bit unfair for those who haven't gotten it <laughs> because there's still people running around with it. Oh, well. Uh, next up, mod scrapping no more. We are aware of the aggravation involved mods being accidentally scrapped. Patch 5 will be into implementing a fix so that loose weapon and armor mods must be scrapped manually to be used in crafting and repair. Now, I want to backtrack for a sec here because they're talking about patch five here and they want to give two hints about the fixes. And those hints being, hey, we're fixing that super overpowered full gun and we're making it so you can't accidentally scrap mods. And then they're also talking about how they're going to be more informative and communicate with us more. But this is a lot of information. And as we're diving into this, there's going to be more information on PVP and all that. But I kind of feel like it's a song and dance dancing around the issue that they said there was new content coming mean in January. <laughs> the last like five of these things they've been talking about vaults opening up, vaults opening up, <laughs> BVP mode, blah 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 blah. And from the looks of it, the patch that's coming this month, later this January, the end of the month, is going to be more fixes. Exploit fixes, bug fixes, probably another 150 plus bugs fixed but no new content. So they promised something, they failed to deliver on it, and it's a little bit sad and frustrating to me because this was their first big content update. And it's only building that hype and anticipation for that content update even more because now it's been pushed back a month. And when it does drop, we're expecting big things. And I have the feeling that these vaults opening up isn't gonna be the greatest thing in the world. The PVP mode might be 
very interesting for certain people. So let's continue reading on and find out more about that. Want to help us shape in-game events? As we've stated time and again, your feedback is crucial to making appropriate changes and improving the overall player experience. This week, we'd like to hear your thoughts, especially on in-game events, specifically aspects of events that you really enjoy and want to, to see, double, see us double down on and areas we can improve. Please share your feedback on our forums here and there's a link. So I'll have a link down in the description below and you can find that and then go click that link or join our friends at Reddit and let us know what you think. Some of our biggest questions include, all right, let's go through these and I'll give my thoughts off the top of my head. Which events do you feel are most rewarding to you? So the ones I feel most are rewarding off the top of my head are the defense waves. I like defending against hordes and hordes of zombies, like the one at the airport. It's just fun killing, 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 and then an airdrop comes and you get loot. However, they have recently nerfed those and there's like no waves of enemies anymore. It's super boring, but I like just the killing and defending stuff. Which events do you not care about doing or dislike? Uh, off the top of my head, I remember there was one where I had to run around collect flies in a jar or something. I hated that. Never went back into that again. The power plants, they literally take like an hour sometimes. It's impossible to find which pipes to fix and, you know, getting that 100% completion is just ridiculous. So do not care about those either. What do you guys not like? Put your thoughts down in the description below or in the comments. Which events do you prefer to play in a team versus solo? Well, I always play on a team and I pretty much like doing all the events that I can other than the ones that are just not fun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't mind even feed the people. It's just a fun little event that's there and uh, it's not too hard to do. It's another defense one. So um, if I were playing solo, I'd probably feel the same way, honestly. What types of events would you like to see in the game? Oh boy. Well, I just like more of those defense waves. I like, well, actually, you know what? How about a, a checkpoint where you have to push through, kill a bunch of mutants, push a little bit further, kill a bunch more, and then work your way through and then get to the end and fight a boss. Kind of like a dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see a dungeon event. How do you join events? Do you fast travel? Do you go to the location expecting to start an event? Uh, I personally just fast travel if I'm nearby. If I'm very close, I'll walk to it. How would you feel about bonuses for completing a daily or weekly event? Well, they would have to be darn good, but it's, I mean, every time you, there's nothing else to do in the game. So you're, that's all you're doing to daily and weekly is events. So adding a bonus in for it, it's like, sure. Yeah, I'll take some free stuff. So I guess, <laughs> all right. Well, moving on, because players come into events at various stages in time, another thing we're talking about is how to provide you with greater sense of events current status. We know it can be disheartening to spend your hard earned caps traveling to a location to only discover upon arrival the event is already concluded. We're still working through this to come up with a resolution, providing your feedback to our questions and further information you'd like to share on events will come will help us come up to a better solution to any frustrations you may be having. Uh, because we're getting more and more of launch bugs address, we expect our Inside the Vault features to focus more on quality of life improvements and new free content arriving in the game. I mean, the solution to this is just to show a timer on the map when you put your mouse over it. It says stage two out of three, five minutes remaining. I mean, it's simple. I mean, why do they need feedback for that? It's like any designer would figure that out at literally 30 seconds. I'm not a designer. I figured that out in 10 seconds. All right, a little down the line. You may recall late last year, we mentioned we're working on a new way of playing the game that removed PVP restrictions. While we're still doing some tweaking and adding, we thought we'd give you a little more info to go on. Think of it like playing the game you're playing right now, but with no PVP rules. We want to introduce significantly more tension drama and consequences with every encounter with another human player. We'll go further into this new mode next week. So there it is, guys. I actually called it. I said it's either going to be a map that you queue up on or it's going to be PvP servers. And I remember the comments. People just attacked me for saying that. PvP servers would be such a bad idea. You're an idiot. <laughs> well, apparently Bethesda are too because they're doing it. And I was trying to think like a designer if I was designing a mode for this game. What would I do? And I would go with PVP player servers, no limits. And apparently some of you guys didn't like that idea, <laughs> but it's happening. Now, the way I would do this is make it so you have to create a new character for this game mode. Otherwise, it's just going to be more problems and it's going to be more bad rap for the game. You're going to level up to level 250, get the best gear. You know, maybe you still have that one shot legendary gun that nobody can get anymore. And you hop over to this server and just boom, 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 kill everybody. They need 
need to match make it so you find people that are the same level as you and everybody has to create a new character for this mode so it's it's just the wild west leveling up everybody's using you know pi <laughs> pipe pistols and, and golf clubs and they're beating the crap out of each other and they're all leveling up and maybe if you level up faster than everyone else it merges you into a higher level server with people that are more appropriate to your level and that sort of thing they got to do something like that otherwise there's going to be people coming over from pve just going ham on each other you can come in all your best gear and just eliminate everybody i guess that's okay but the point of the survival is trying to see how much you can gather and obtain while surviving and i think this is just a place where you log in and shoot people but you're not really worried about objectives collecting anything getting junk because you already have all that so what are you doing you're just running around trying to kill people so it's a gigantic 24 player free for all map and i think that could be appealing to some people i still think the idea of progression is great like losing your gear like you would in any other game being having that punishing survival survival aspect. If you were in Mad Max or post-apocalyptic world and you died, you would lose everything and people would loot it. Part of part of being a raider is killing someone and taking their stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I want that. I want I want to progress on a PvP server with other raiders. And lastly, guys, well, they're they're ending it off with we'll also have more to share on the new content and feature soon. Well, it's a little early to give specifics. We can tell you that our first major content update will roll out over several weeks, consistently adding new activities to keep the world feeling fresh and ever changing. Until then, see you in the Appalachia. All right, so I have to note on this last little bit here we'll have more to share on the new content and features soon i just feel like they're saying the same thing over and over again four weeks ago they should have said we're going to be working on bugs for the next two months i hope you just stay with us but they keep saying oh there's new content because they want players to continue playing holding on for hope but what you're doing is you're falsifying that hope and breaking people's hearts i was really hoping to get back into fallout 76 this month and go do some new content i've already done everything that's currently in the game and these bug fixes aren't doing anything for me so they were like oh we're new content coming in January. Well, now now it's going to be soon. Is soon February or is it March? They're not really giving us the specifics, but they are saying as the first major content update will roll out over several weeks. So that means there could be a new patch every week for an entire month. But that's also concerning. What I'm worried about with Bethesda here is they haven't done a big content update yet. So they could just be like dribbling out content. Oh, there's a new event on the map. There's a new vault that opened up and you're getting one little thing every week for a month. And when you add it all up, it's a fairly okay content drop, but you have to wait for it. And I feel like the, the spreading it out like that is also a tease. It's keeping the players hanging on for hope. Like I said earlier, here's a little something, go play it. And you're going to go play it and you'll be done with it in an hour or two. I hope I'm wrong. I don't want to be, you know, I, I am sounding kind of negative on that aspect, but based off the current trend leading up till now, I'm only basing this knowledge off of what we've experienced thus far. The new content is like stash limit increase by 200. Oh, bulldozer added. That's what we've gotten over two months. So what are we going to get over several weeks of constant updates? I feel like a vault opening up and it has some enemies inside and it's content for us to clear out is considered a major update for Bethesda. <laughs> just disabling pacifist mode and giving you the exact same game which is a pvp server a 24 player free for all is a massive update for bethesda literally all they had to do is disable pacifist mode and go here you guys go there's a separate server that you can go play on i don't know why it's taken this long to develop this pvp mode and that's why i speculated at other game modes like you queue up and you do eight versus eight pvp because it sounds like it's been worked on and it's in development but they're taking this long just to basically disable pacifist mode so they're dribbling content out and i do not know how many devs they have working on this stuff but like i said the the amount of teases the amount of hint, hint, hinting at stuff the drizzling it out over weeks at a time it's disheartening and it's just leading people on and it, it kind of it keeps you subscribed to playing the game and logging back in but it's not really that worth it so I'm not a big fan of this. I say Bethesda, 
get your game fixed, keep working on it, communicate that with us, say, look, we're going to work on this stuff for the next two months. We're fixing exploits. Once we get through the game to the, uh, you know, the shape that we wanted in, we're going to let you know, and then we're going to start working on big content updates. And I want the first content update to be a big patch number, new vaults, new PVP modes. Like we've added in a whole new 20 different events. We've added in weekly events, weekly challenges, and all this content, boom, you got, you come back to this update and you're playing for a week if not more what do you guys think i mean I, I know i'm being a little bit hard on them but based off the way things have gone i think it's time to put our foot down they got to stop teasing us with stuff and giving us false promises and just say hey this is what we're doing it's gonna be a bit would you guys rather them hold out and give you one big giant massive content update that changes the way you play the game for for the next foreseeable future or would you rather these micro drizzles of content come pouring in week after week for me it's just not enough and if i see some something that's like oh there's a vault now you can it takes you 30 minutes to beat it i don't know if that's enough to get me back into the game but if they said hey there's 24 vaults that have opened up it's going to take you weeks to unlock them all and go explore them all boom suddenly i have a reason to play again so big ranty video lots to go over there that was pretty hefty what do you guys think leave your thoughts down in the comments below and does any of this excite you do you disagree with me would you like bigger content updates love reading your thoughts so drop them down below and that's going to do it for me here today in this video guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye now